All right, so the day's finally come. You've managed to save up your 600 pounds and figured out, yeah, I can use this to build a PC. But there's one small problem. You don't know what parts to get for your PC. So this video is just for you. We're gonna go through a 600 pound, 600 pound PC part picker list that'll give you the best price to performance ratio so you can get the best value and goodness for your games. Yeah. So we're gonna cut to OBS me. Okay, so to start things off, we're going to go figure out our CPU. And yeah, I'm thinking the AMD Ryzen 5 3600. This is overall a really good price to performance CPU. It's the same CPU I have in my personal system. It has 6 cores, 12 threads, um, boost, boost up to 4.2 gigahertz, which is uh, quite fast for a CPU in this price range, 180 pounds. It can handle pretty much any workload. As just really good overall so this will be perfect for our list we won't need a CPU cooler because the Ryzen 5 is 600 it already comes with its own cooler uh, the Rate Stealth uh, so it's, honestly it's fine if you're not doing any overclocks or anything I'm assuming you won't be but if you if you will you can just pick up like an aftermarket tower cooler or something so we're gonna move on to a motherboard Okay, uh, I think we should go Micro ATX. You can go ATX, but for this list, we're going to go try out Micro ATX and B550. So, it'll, we can just pop in a 3rd gen CPU. And it will support 4th gen CPUs as well. Oh, sorry, 5th gen CPUs that will be releasing quite soon, actually. So, that will be really good. We'll sort by lowest price. And, we'll have. To, I think this CPU, uh, sorry. This motherboard, the ASRock B550 Pro 4, M Pro 4, it actually seems pretty good. Okay, so next we're going to choose RAM, uh, memory, I'm thinking 16 gigabytes would be enough, actually. 16 gigabytes is enough for a lot of PCs. It's fine for me, I do recordings and editing on this frequently, and I've had no problem with this. And even gaming, I use about like... 10 gigs of RAM, so it should be fine. Uh, we're gonna sort lowest price, and we also want to keep high frequencies because for AMD CPUs, there you can get a lot more performance from higher memory speeds. So, for example, like the sweet spot for this CPU, I'd say, is about 3,000 to 3,600. So this team, team group T Force Vulcan Tough Gaming RAM. This seems pretty good actually. Obviously, it's not the most stylish. We we don't really care about aesthetics because we're just trying to hit a price point that has good value and good performance. So this RAM seems pretty good. And I've just opened Amazon. So next we're going to choose storage. So we are going to choose an SSD that can just hold our operating system and a few frequently used applications. So 120 gigabytes is fine. I have a 256 200, 240 gigabyte SSD, sorry, that's from Picture Burst as well. I've had no problems with Picture Burst SSDs, and they're uh, really good. So we can choose that, but everything's not going to fit in there. So I think we should choose a 1 terabyte hard drive as well, just to store all of our games and larger files for things. So this WD Blue 1 terabyte hard drive seems pretty good. So moving on to the graphics card now, I think we should go with, I was going to say t uh, GTX 1050 Ti, but I think we can squeeze a 1650. The GTX 1650 is a really good graphics card, it has a lot of performance and you can overclock it quite far as well if you have the right cooling and if you want to tinker around with that. So we're just going to go with... Sort by lowest, and we do want decent cooling. So I mean, a single fan, it's it's okay. It can manage it, but we also want to keep the noise low. We don't really want to have our fans ramp up to a hundred percent while we're gaming. That'd be not good. This GTX Gigabyte GeForce GTX 1650 four gigabyte WinForce OC seems pretty good. Okay, so for a case. We are going to have to choose a micro ATX 
case actually. We, we can choose an ATX case, an ATX full tower, but there is going to be like a bit of room at the bottom and it's just going to look really awkward. So I guess choose a micro ATX case for this one. And this case actually seems fine. It looks really good actually, but I don't see any ventilation <laughs> whatsoever. Let me look through the pictures. Yeah, there's no ventilation here whatsoever. The front, it could be on the other side, like what NZXT does. No, it's not even on here either. So you're really just choking your components inside. And the stuff that we have in here is not super hot running. Like, you know, we can use like one or two fans to cool it. But we don't want to really like overheat them as such. So it's going to be a no for me. Uh, what else do we have here? We got this, this Game Max case. Uh, not sure about that. Uh, oh, we do have this Thermaltake Versa H15 though. Uh, it's got a little acrylic side panel window over here. So, oh, well, we can see actually a bit of our components in here. We can probably see the GPU and the CPU cooler. And it looks like we see our hard drive. Maybe only one hard drive mount. That's two. Oh, it looks like it actually has three. Three hard drive mounts. I could be wrong, though. But we are just installing one hard drive, so it doesn't really matter that much. Although we can upgrade our storage down the line, and we do have room for it as well. We have an optical drive bay here, and power supply area, like the basement here. Well, there is no power supply shroud, but you can't really see that with the case. Okay, yeah, we only have one fan, though. Oh, um... Uh, we have one fan. The stuff in here, like I said, it's not really super hot running, but we do want a bit of cooling. So I guess we should add uh, a five, a uh, five pound, a ten pound fan in here. But this case seems really good. It's me got full mesh at the front. Uh, yeah, seems really good. So we're gonna add this to cart. There we are. And next, power supply. I think that's it actually. Yeah, after this, we it's just a power supply. So, I think we should be looking for something around 500 watts, I would say. Right, the components here, they don't really need a lot of power to run. So, we have this Game Max GP power supply. Uh, I, I have a Game Max case, but I've never actually seen their power supplies before. Yeah, it has got A plus bronze, but... I'm a bit unsure about this. It's got no ratings, but this is PC particular, so can't really guarantee on that. Oh, we do have this B Quiet System Power 9 cooler. Oh, sorry, <laughs> power supply. Oh, this would be a really weird cooler. It's got ATX 80 plus bronze, 500 watts, and it's actually got black cables as well. So, uh, our case, yeah, it does have an acrylic side panel. So, we'll see a bit of the cables but they are black flat it looks like it could just be cu custom sleeving over it but they are black so it would blend in nicely with our um sort of black and white theme here so it seems pretty good and i think that's it actually so the total is 604 pounds we are we aren't including a monitor or peripherals as such this is just on the pc so, maybe write down a comment below if you want to see uh, maybe a full setup. So, a monitor, keyboard, mouse, headset, and other stuff. Uh, like, a thousand pounds or something. Uh, yeah, that seems pretty good. Uh, an operating system. You can get Windows 10 operating system for free. And we're actually, gonna be, we're actually working on a video about that right now. How to get Windows 10 for free and install it on your system. So make sure you're subscribed with notifications for that. And that's it for me, actually. Uh, yeah, so I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, uh, hit the like button. And if you really like it and you like what we do around here, then hit the subscribe button with notifications. Um, we have a lot more stuff like this coming, like PC Part Picker lists. All right, bye.